Hello everybody and welcome to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy 15. I got a PS4, yay! And I'm just gonna go ahead and click new game. And I did get normal, please. I This tutorial offers interactive explanations about the story and combat system. Uh, yeah, sure. And since I got the collector's edition, I actually got the little movie that came with it, and I actually really like the movie. Sets up the world, and didn't really, I wouldn't say, set up the characters all too much. Princess Luna is kind of meh. It's meh. But it's just like, these other characters, will we meet them? Yo, my bro. It's a big and fluffy puppy. Hey there, Noct. This is, do you know I've, look, what, look, I've, you might not know me, but I know you. As a matter of fact, I've been watching over you since you were little. This weird little horned creature. This is the old training room in the world of your dreams. <laughs> this is so weird. I'm going to teach you the ins and outs of this world and help you along on the journey. Okay, weird old bug creature. Talking through my phone. Welcome to the old train room. Give me some combat tutorials. I might look into the lore and basically cut out anything. Gladius. Oh. Gladiolus. Alright, let's get started. Combat basics. Defend yourself. He's got a giant sword. First, let's practice defending. Okay. Phase. Hold to automatically evade attacks. The key is to defend slightly ahead of time. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's practice a little bit more. That's a nice little combat thingy. Oh, you can lock on. Well, hold. Ow. You got me in a combo. Now it's your turn to strike. Yes, teach me how to fight. Blitz. Hold circle to automatically chain attacks. Tilt the left stick while to change the way the combo unfolds. Strike a foe from behind to deliver a blindside for 50% more damage. Mariachi! Circle behind and whack. That's how you do it. Alright, now what? Parrying. Block. A certain enemy text can be parried. A shield will appear signaling your defend, so... After defending, switch to... Okay. <laughs> Just mariachi. I need to get the basics down. Hit me. Ah, that's how it is. Die, Gladius. Die, my friend. Oh, you have to do it three times. Okay. I jump around you. There we go. Chocobo. Noctis will take heavy damage to fail to perform the initial block. Stay on the ground and be ready to defend at all times. An intense drill is available to help you hone your parrying skill. Okay, time to put that all into practice. Attack to pin and parry your way to victory. Come on, Gladiolus.
Get on the ground. Hey, plus. No experience. Now you've got the hang of the basics. Hello, creature. Say, boy, here you want to practice warping too? Begin next tutorial. Really wish this was like incorporated into the game itself and not just like, hey, here's how you do all the things. Warping and MP. Warping. All right, it's warping time. Ha 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 ha. Morphin' time. Blade warp. Noctis has the ability to instantly warp to where he throws his weapon. Perform a blade warp. Lock on, warp strike. O1 plus R3 track to cancel. When locked on to an enemy, a blade warp becomes a warp strike. Target an enemy to lock on. The camera will stay centered on the target. Okay. Nice work. Let's move on. Point warp. In addition to warp striking, Noctis can also point warp to specific locations. Look around and then point warp to marker. You can point warp to blue markers when they appear on screen. Cactus. Point warp to warp strike and lock on. While suspended from a point warp spot, Noctis will automatically lock on to a target. Managing MP. Warping and phasing consume MP, which is shown as a blue gauge above Noctis' head after point warping, as well as the bottom right. If Noctis uses MP, uh, MP into deficit, he enters stasis, which severely limits his abilities. Keep an eye on MP and use items to keep it replenished. Cover when icon appears. Stand when you cover. Take cover behind large objects like clock and to recover both HP and MP. Oh no! We're going to... Han. By holding down, you can make me do the duck walk! Dear God. Performing a point warp instantly restores all MP. Take note of markers in case of when you need to respite. Goody good. Try taking down gladius with warp strikes alone. Review warping controls on the right of the screen. Fool! Dang it. I guess you need to face the right way as well and maybe not be moving. Damage times two. So basically, you have to hold still, or maybe you have to hold it. I'll have to practice that. Oh, combo breaker! I think you've got warping down pat. I'm hanging from a ledge. While you're at it, what say we review resistances too? Little buggery, in my opinion. Let's attack Gladiolus. <coughs> Ow. Come on, don't you come on me. Yeah, you have to hold it. Weapons! When striking an enemy, the damage value may appear in different colors. Orange indicates increased damage, while purple in indicates reduced damage. Enemies can be resilient or resistance or weak to different weapons. Swords do not seem to work well against Gladiolus. So, you will try another weapon. Okay, where are you, Gladiolus? I got a giant sword. Ah, oh, you got me. Let's try daggers. Noctis has obtained a javelin, a type of polearm. Try equipping it now. 
Oh. That's a weird place to put the gear option. Equip Noctis and his friends with weapons and accessories, outfits, and techniques. Noctis can equip up to four weapons, while his friends can only equip two. An icon legend can be viewed there. Alrighty. Noctis. Wait. Yeah. Oh. Ah, Javelin. I got a javelin for you. This is gonna be fun. Just wish the tutorial wasn't so crap. Like, it, it, it describes it well, it just takes me out of it. Ooh, spells. To use magic, you have to equip it like a weapon. Here's a spell to get you started. The magic flip grants magic. Noctis has obtained the spell. Fire! Main menu, change weapon category. Yes, yes, I already figured that. Gear, Noctis. Let's get rid of uh, the daggers. There's guns. <laughs> Wand. Wait. Attack 42. Oh. It says I have five of them. Magic crafted from elemental energy. Highly potent, but limited to a certain number of uses. <coughs> Excuse me. Spell casting. Select the spell Fire. Cast it on Gladius. Bye, boy. Nice. Chicken. Pretty cool, in a don't burn me alive, please sort of way. Magic is extremely powerful and destroys indiscriminately. Take care of that your allies are not caught in the devastation. Enemies can be resistant or weak to different elements. Gladiolus is currently weak against fire. When a weakness is struck, damage values appear in orange. Noctis cannot warp strike while wielding a spell or machinery. You must first switch to another type of weapon. Alrighty. You can't just throw the spell and go to where the spell is, you blow up. Checking resistances. The game features two combat modes, active and wait. Weight mode emphasizes strategic elements of combat. Engage weight mode and lock onto an enemy to analyze it. Here's some elemental energy you can use to craft spells. The magic flip! Ice energy. The same old tricks won't work on Gladio this time. Gladiolus! Find out what he's weak to and then let him have it. So first I have to go to... Craft spells using the elemental energy you have collected, then equip magic flasks to use them in the field. Adjust the amount of energy or add a catalyst when crafting to increase the spell's potency or add an effect such as poison or multicast. Review your history to quickly craft more of the same spells. Use it all! Use it all! It's not letting me craft. Dang it! Let me! I'm already getting confused! Okay. Elemancy. You must empty the flask of L before you can use it. I have a flask here. Let me fill it up there. LMC is the art of channeling elements into destructive forces. Posits, fire, ice, lightning, energies are found in nature. Noctis can absorb the power of deposit crafts. Crafting a spell requires elemental energy and empty flask. Catalyst can also be added to imbue with magical effects. 
Begin by adjusting the amount of energy. The more energy moves proportionally, and raising the potency above it produces a higher tier spell. Next, choose an item to serve as the catalyst. The type of catalyst determines the spell's effect, with the quantity influences the spell's level, potency, and number of uses. Spells possess the following properties. Bulk type, potency, effect, level, and number of uses. A history is kept of all the spells you crafted. Okay. If you wish to free up a flask quest to discard the spell, note the element launching custom will not be restored. Just let me. I already have it. Let me take this. I have the thingy. I'm confused. I have three magic flasks. I don't have anything to serve as the catalyst. Oh. There's the craft button. I just figured I could just click it. Oh well. Equip. Over fire. That's me being dumb dumb. Get away, boy. No, don't do this to me. Take this. Bye. Do I have to use purely magic? Bye, boy. I'm back again, boy. I wonder, can I cast from up here? I have to get away. I have to get away. I have to get away. Bye, boy. Now, and stay down, Gladdy. I'm going to love. Of course, my time wasn't good. I got mixed up on the the, 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 the crafting, and I didn't talk to you. Teamwork, yeah, sure. Hopefully, my teammates are good. That's good. You rank? Hello, and welcome to the episode known as the tutorial. Teamwork. Get on with it. Get on with it! Hey, Skirty. Link strikes. Noctis friends engage in combat automatically. If they are nearby when Noctis performs a parry or blindside using a sword, greatsword, or polearm, they may join in for a Link strike. Gun time! Just shoot him, why don't you? Techniques. Noctis' friends have unique techniques they perform at his command. Performing a technique depletes the tech bar, which gradually fills in battle. Try having Prompto perform Piercer. Shoot the bastard! Shoot the bastard! Follow up. A successive technique, successful technique creates an opening for Noctis when pressing burn following another attack. Spend AP in, ascension or in the ascension menu to learn new techniques and put their myriad effects to use in battle. Alrighty, boy. Right there. Danger. Oh, dear lord. When Noctis runs out of HP, he enters a state of danger. This is not only impairs his abilities, it also decreases his maximum HP over time. And when he takes damage, when his maximum HP falls to zero, the game is over. Noctis recovers from danger with time, or when a friend comes to his rescue. Ally, please. Help me, friend. Thank you, friend. I'm going to... Is that the end of the danger? I want to, I want to smack him. <laughs> Ew! Already got gotcha. you. Friends also form to stay in danger. Unlike Noctis, however, they do not automatically recover and need to be rescued first. Already done. Recovering from danger does not restore maximum HP. Combat items. Characters can still use items while in danger. If an item targets only one person, select who. Yeah. You use elixirs to restore Noctis and Prompto's maximum HP. Got it. Yeah. 
Here, Prompto, I like you. And now for me. Alright, that's nice. Potions and elixirs lift a state of danger while restoring HP. Nice. Wish this was a little bit faster. Now team up Prompto and take down Gladiolus. Coming for you, boy! Oh, I'm in stasis. Hey, boy. Hey, boy, boy. Complete. When your buddy's at your side, you've got nothing to be afraid of. Ha 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 One of them is going to die. Access the tutorial any time in the main game. Drills are also available for honing skills such as parrying and spellcasting. When you're in trouble, I'll fly to your side. Thank you, innocuous little bug creature. With fluffy ears. Strange bug creature, fluffy ears. Final Fantasy XV, now in time unknown, only prophecy keeps hope alive in people's hearts. When darkness veils the world, the king's light shall come. Now four brave warriors begin their journey, prepared to fight. What awaits the four, however, they do not know. The tale of the chosen king, savior to the star. Wateriness. Nyx? This is... no, Nyx had a different thing. Noctis Lucis Callum. Okay. My eyes hurt. <laughs> I am con- oh, um... Prompto Argento. Noctis looks gruffer. Ignis. Thank you for shoving me. Gladiolus, the guy we've been beating up this entire time. Don't you dare. That's just like, here's this thing, and then before the fall. What? That was meaningless, pointless, worthless, weird. I know this from the movie, dang it. Well, not the this part. The hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Ben and Mr. Abs. Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. What was that reaction? Well, yeah. princes will be princes. So much for the royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but of course got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your majesty as well. 
Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. I don't know. I, I... <laughs> got a trophy just for turning on the game. So yeah, the movie takes place after this happened, I guess. I wonder where exactly in the timeline, because we never see Noctis in the movie. Well, Chapter 1, Departure. Prince Noctis Lucius Callum sits forth from his homeland with his three-man reti- uh, Retin- In tow. His destination, Altissa. Gatissia, capital of Acardo, where he will formalize the union of states through his marriage to Lady Lunafreya of the imperial province of Tinebre. Honestly, I feel like they could have put the movie in as like a bonus chapter. Just think. Plain as Nyx. It's just like, oh, that would have been amazing. Not as cinematic, maybe, but gosh dang, it would have been lovely. Maybe offer a bit more time to get to know the characters. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. You'll get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Jeez. This is. Supposed to move us. Can it? Ready, steady. And. I'm pushing. Oh. <clears throat> Had to look at my buttons. Just takes a little bit of to actually get pushing. I heard about this part. It's just like, really? You threw in... <laughs> oh, look, it's a creature. Exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Hey, look, these things happen. Yeah, I'm over. This isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. <laughs> so, don't even think about it. Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. No, -uh. we just switched back there. And it's my turn, not his turn. <laughs> my hands are killing me. You rather I kill you with mine? Easy there, tough guy. Any luck? This better not go on too long. I beg of you, game. Is it just me? Or was it supposed to be way closer? I assure you, the map is correct. The map said Hammerhead was right there. Literally next door. It looks that way on a map of the world. This is such a weird beginning. The world's a big old place, filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. Are you guys even pushing? As hard as I can. Everything I've got. <laughs> it's such a weird beginning. And it, also, weird uh, song to choose. Good song, maybe not too fitting for the overall everything, but. Hmm. Very just weird. The first off, tutorial needs work, but that opening, it's a nice cold opening. Plus, takes up after the movie, the post credit stinger. Hey there, 
y'all kept a girl waiting. Well, howdy, howdy. Which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Cindy Aru. still young. Of course, the traditional Sid of She's Final Fantasy. A custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Ipikaye. So now we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it either. At this point, it just feels like the. Cannot steal cars. <laughs> This ain't Grand Theft Auto. I guess talk to Cindy. Hello, Cindy. What you got? Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This will make sure y'all don't get lost. World map. Didn't we have a world map? Like, I thought it was just next door. Of course it looks that way on a map of the world. Visit the local tipster to gather information. We'll make good use of the extra time. I like the animations. Eh, uh, shop. Don't think I've. Yeah, they got Ebony out here. Oh, Ignis is gonna flip. Wait, take a look at our wares. Earn gill by completing hunts or selling trinkets that you find. Do I have anything to sell? I'm <laughs> not gonna sell that, no. Um, Academy. A moment, knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Yo, Cindy, broke we need down. money. And flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Oh. Prince Noctis is a royal retinue. Client. <laughs> we doing things. Wait, completed or it's like. Okay, I got it. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. Doctor Cindy wants more. be ready for a while. Y'all need something? She ain't gonna be ready for, um, um... I'm not ready for this! Um... Ask my friends! We're strapped for cash. Any way we could earn a little? Oh... Now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. That's why we figured in the first place. Pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Eliminate the pest. Like. Got his eye on you, knocked. Show him what you got. Because <laughs> I was like, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Spin ability points to power up Noctis's friends. Acquire new abilities on the astral sphere from the ascension menu. I was not expecting there to be that thing. Usability points to activate nodes on the Astral Sphere and acquire new abilities to aid you on your journey. Earn AP by leveling up, completing quests and strategic ops, or by impressing friends in conversation. Combat. Teamwork. I guess, uh, techniques. Recovery. Magic. Noxus that, uh, Nexus that refines the boost of your spells. Activate these nodes to improve magical prowess. Nexus that further expands curative power. Nexus that enhances and boosts your allies' techniques. Nexus that boosts Noctis' technique repertoire. Nexus that boosts your allies' teamwork. 
stat, uh, Nexus Tech enhances basic parameters independent of behavior. Activate these nodes to boost stats and equip more accessories. Exploration Nexus that renders assistance outside of combat. Activate these nodes to aid you on the long road. Uh, Nexus that facilitates combat in time stopping weight mode. Activate these nodes to improve your tactical, tactical performance. But I'm not using weight mode. Boost link strike damage. I like the sound of that. New power! I wonder if there's any gear. Yes, I already know that. Noctis. Do I have any weapons? Engine blade. Two-handed sword. That is incredibly powerful. That seems overpowered, if you ask me. Gladiolus. Technique Tempest. Primary weapon. Do you have any secondary? Nope, he does not. Accessories? No accessories. Ignis, Mark, he uses daggers, nothing else. Second weapon, nothing else. Nope. And you use guns. And machinery and spells. So, nothing yet. Skills. Not his friends each possess their own unique skills. They become more proficient as they gain experience in their respective areas of expertise. Catching fish, exploring the wild, cooking at camp, and taking pictures. Taking pictures? <laughs> but don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though. Don't tell Papa. And did she just give me something? She gave me thing. Why? Okay, accessory. Bronze bangle. Increases my health. I'll put that on myself, thank you. Because I am an egomaniac. Let's head on out. Kill some monsters. It's time. Gladio, come on. Gotcha. Kill some monsters. Kill them dead. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready, knocked. The threat meter to display an enemy detects your presence. Contra weapons to attack. Hold blitz to a consecutive change. Yeah, we've already been through that. Dang it, I didn't block. Excellent work. On we go. Oh, we gained some experience. Yay! I like the look of the world, kind of. I wonder if you can go everywhere. Be cool. Is there environment damage? Eyes forward. Didn't How about... To do that? <laughs> oh, that's actually interesting. If you accidentally slash at your allies, they actually acknowledge it. AI. Improvements. There's even a road. How handy. Oh, wrong button. They are gonna know what hit them. Let's do this. Press to roll dodge, hold to defend against oncoming attacks. Just beat him up. <laughs> They're just going, giving us a whole bunch of stuff. Wrong way. Nice. Let's get on with it. Where is the so, uh, 
just having a bar. I don't see it anyway. I haven't mentioned it. Toggle HUD on and off. I, I want my HUD on. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. Oh, but we all know this is a Final Fantasy game. Things going to go down, my dear friends. People going to die. Almost there. Give it your all. Noctis can instantly warp strike targeted enemies at the cost of AP or MP. The further, further, uh, Noctis blade warps the more damage his attack deals. No, oh, came out of nowhere. Need to follow on string prompts more. And that thing came out of nowhere real fast. Surprise! You thought you were safe? You're not. I just noticed the thing at the top. All the things are dead. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Dindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. <laughs> in the time, back. It's for a person. Fella named oh. Dave went off. We ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. Hey. Do we need to kill a necromancer? Let's go. What did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. Can you climb? Climb up, boy. You can sneak. I wonder if the sneaking is good in this game. Probably not, but... Yield a uh, food spot. Yields ingredients. Ah, wheat. I get it. Yo, man. We're here to kill you. Or something we don't know. Check. This? Invitation to the palace. Mutant dual, hum, uh, mutant dual horn sighting. Codename Bloodhorn. Characteristics Red Tusks extremely violent. Outstand. Dean Bounty on Saber Tusks in the area. Get out of here. What the? What the shnikes? You okay? We are now. Spoke too soon. I'm going all out. You still get too curious. You want to talk? Oh, uh, something happened. Ow. I'm confused. Quit dodging and die. That was crazy. Out of nowhere. Hey, what about the shack over there? Oh. Let me leave through the window. Come on. True open world f magicness. There's a truck. There's a truck. Oh. Those things are big. That's a big thing. Those are big things. Not yet. Okay. Warp to the windmill, then jump on down from above. This is already like describing oh, things. This creature is known as a saber tusk. Friends propose strategies to gain advantage in combat. Follow their strategies to earn AP. Blue markers indicate points you can warp to. Yeah, this is already doing the it's thing. With its tusks, 
Extracting game from the safety and comfort of burrows. That's a bit heartless. Yeah. Get out of here! Smash him! Hey, who's out there? We killed your f things. Why well, look who's in here? The man of the hour, Dave. Right? <laughs> Been looking for you. Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. How do you know? Y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it for free. Oh, I'm yeah. feeling generous. We'll take care of it. Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw him. I'm feeling generous today. Way to show some spunk. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. Yes. Earned 30 AP. Ooh. I'm gonna go put that into stuff. It'll probably, like, how much does this cost? 300! <laughs> oh, that amuses me. That amuses me greatly. Let's see. Boost damage dealt with unscape during chain attacks. How much do I have? I have 20. I'll reduce the uh, phasing. And then weight mode. Don't use weight mode. I do indeed like that. Which then leads to strength level, spirit level, health level, and vitality level. Wait, there was a thing. We're coming for you, you big meanie. We're gonna kill ya. So far, this game has been really good. A little bit slow story-wise, like, because the gameplay is fun. The gameplay is fun, just need to get a little bit better at it. If the story was a little bit better, yields mineral deposit. Oh, but we found a thing. Sharp bone. You can just find things in the ground. That's cool. Look both ways before crossing the street. Don't want to get run over. Don't want to get a BB. De -de -de -de. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Very so shut up, Prompto. It was pretty nice. Napping was even better. <laughs> Goes the creature. That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run of the mill breed. We best make quick work of it. It's angry. Wait a sec. Big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. You sure. Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! It's gonna be. Why did he? Oh. Show those balls. Nice one. It's not over yet. Start killing it, you <laughs> bubbles. Ready for round two. Bring it. Yeah, I know. He's stepping on me. Help. 
Slash him from behind. Kill. Kill it. Oh, he's already dead. All right, we're done here. And there's fall damage. That that's lulzy. Ring ring. How do you know it's on my person? Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Ken. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, while I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. something the trouble. He doesn't even say that, but uh sure. Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. And the thing's already gone. Disappeared. They sad. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. <laughs> it helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the leg room in back. Now I just gotta walk all the way back. Yay. This is gonna be long. Let's look across the way. Looks interesting, like there's cliffs out there, I think I can see a crane. Hello, spontaneously spawning friend. There seems to be like a base or something out there, but... <laughs> now I understand why they give... Man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Uh, <laughs> pretend you're walking to the car. <laughs> but that is what we're doing. Outfits change not only appearance, but att attributes as well. Cool, cool. Because... What's the little thing that, uh... This is why they have a car in this game. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, What's the what point of this? That? Hello, Biggie. A large hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. That would explain its size. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ignis. In every sense. I like Ignis. So we're we're gonna kill that thing, aren't we? At the time, hello, puppies, knocking at my door. Please go away. Going to in the middle of something. Look both ways before crossing the wire. I thought it was shadow, but no, it was wire. But yeah, inexplicable giant creature coming out, flying above us. And it just disappears. Glorious. Humpity doody. 